When we had last left the Spacefarer, they tracked down a weird missing, or not missing, but strange signal that was caught by the Eye and Vladimir. And while there, they uncovered that it was none other than a strange alien temple of some kind. Within, there was a great artifact that spun super fast, and there was, oh, there was also a great glowing globule, and they floated around with Andresia, too, as she was here, too, as well. Anyway, they did all of that and got space powers, the ability to manipulate gravity in a localized area. Now, it was time to go check in on Barrett, back on the mining planet. <laughs> this is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Hey, Andresia. What, uh, what the fuck is going on here? Hello. Uh, can I ask you personal questions? You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Fair enough. Is that it then? Okay. Go over here. Good, good, good. Yeah, let's head on out. Let's well, let's do a quick yeah. rest. Let's do a quick rest. All right, cuz we we don't even I I'm still in like Fallout and or Skyrim mode or whatever where I have to in order to fast travel I have to leave the entire town or something like that but that's not the case we can literally fast travel from like in inside of an interior you know oh yeah hey do we have any research stuff oh we're here nope looks good looks good ah there we go structural pop that in there good 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 Anything else? Nah, that'll do it. Alright, cool. Let's head over here. Lovely, and... Let's rest real fast as well. Whoops. Oh, whoops. Oh, dear God. <laughs> uh, is it this one? Nope. Over here? Yeah, this one's ours. Okay. Very nice room. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's see if we can do the old Skyrim trick. Shit, no, you can't. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It was worth a fucking shot. Why not, right? Come on. <laughs> we had to try it. Come on. There are worlds to conquer. Andresia, I'm not interested in conquering anything, per se. Okay. Oh, look. Hey, hold up. What is this? Yeah, hey, look. Look on our character. Our, our watch there. What the hell? Status. Oh. Okay. Is that what that is? Well rested? I guess so. Okay, well... Let us pop this open. Let's go back to Vectera. Set course. And show resources. <coughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Someone uh, may have sneezed in the background and they are quite embarrassed and are uh, laughing about it. They're very, lit up very red. I don't know who that may be that just had like such a monumental sneeze, but someone did. And they're very embarrassed about <laughs> All right. <laughs> Despite all that, there's really nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> but they just can't help it. All right. Let us go on over here to the Argos Extractors Mining Out. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to it. Oh, probably Outpost. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I've done this. There we go. <laughs> okay. There we go. And land. Outpost. Yeah, it says it right there in the bottom right. Of course it does. Of course it does. Eva? If you are free oh. soon, could we talk? Sure. I have things I wish to discuss with you. Okay. When you have time. Sure. Ah, hello. H hello. Can we go inside of the ship? Because I'm beeping out here now. Hi. 
Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but... Let's see, am I still well rested? Uh, poor air quality, okay. Sure. I am dissatisfied with the Let's go board up here. We should be able to get, like, regeneration or something. Yeah, there we go. Protection regen. Okay, Andresia! Hey. Here, I have something for you. Really? That's nice of you. Don't feel obligated to get me anything. It's about time! Really, that's nice of you. Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or... Well, whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for thinking of me. I'll have to find out what it's worth. Don't go to too much trouble on my account. Well, thank you. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Oh. Oh. Oh, money. Oh, my favorite thing, Andresia. How did you know? Money. Oh, mm, I, I love like it. To think of myself thank you. As your emotional <sighs> support. Oh, Ooh. thank you so much, Andresia. The other lady, she gets me weird plants and stuff. E. Gross. You get me what's really you important. My money. <laughs> All right. Hey, Barrett. Is you right? Oh, no, wait. This is Lynn? Well, you're back. Uh-oh. Lynn. Lynn! Where's Barrett? Where's Barrett? Did something happen? Oh, we'll get to what happened to Barrett. Oh, God. Lynn! Oh, no. Don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Oh, God. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Jesus, I'm sorry. I didn't know. We should have evacuated after the first attack. Why hit the same place twice? What could they gain? Why hit the same place twice? Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Hmm. We should have evacuated after the first attack. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery, and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Oh my god. I know that talk. Suicide mission. I know that talk? Why would I know that talk? That doesn't sound good. This would be the part I would absolutely run away. <laughs> I kind of want to say that. I'm just a professor. I've just gotten flung into all this, right? I'm not like a trained killer. I'm just a professor turned minor by way of not having enough money or something. That This would be the part I would absolutely run away. Your humor is ill-timed. Oh, Andresia Next hates thing I it. Know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> it was going so well until that part. Of course, Heller got captured, just his luck. Now tell me what happened. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. So you just stood around and did nothing. Boss of the year right here. A courier said Argos was packing up. Why not mention the attack? Let's say that. Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. Well, I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. They could have grav-jumped anywhere. 
I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Hmm. Fix the comms computer. Oh, it's back in this building. Oh, that was locked up before. Oh, you want to talk? Okay, what's up? We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? The whole thing made me uncomfortable from the jump. Sure didn't look like any culture I've ever seen or heard of. If you're looking for answers, you're asking the wrong person. It was beautiful. I've never imagined such a place. Sure didn't look like any culture I've ever seen or heard of. Nor I. Nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? There's no way humans were responsible for that. What if they were, though? What if they were? You know? It's such a setup for, for it to be like an alien. What if it's not? What if it's just humans in some way? I'm putting my credits on magic pixies. I didn't see a visitor center or pick up a brochure if that's what you're asking. Maybe there are people out there we've just never met. We shouldn't take wild guesses. If we keep going, we'll find out for sure. Maybe there are people out there we've just never met. That's possible. In fact, it's highly likely. Maybe there are people out there we've just never met. I suppose it is possible, but I cannot imagine anyone who could build such a thing. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you alright? Have you felt any side effects? Yeah, I can control gravity. <laughs> no, I feel great. Better than ever. I hadn't thought about it, but now you got me worried. You mean besides the fantastic new power I now have? Nah, I'm good. You think there'll be... side effects? You think there'll be side effects? How can any of us know what will happen? This is the definition of unprecedented, is it not? Well, besides the fantastic new power I have, I'm good. Yes. I meant apart from that. I am still trying to comprehend that on its own. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. This is exactly what Constellation is for, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. When this is over, we're all going to be rich beyond our dreams. We've only gotten this far by working together. This is exactly what Constellation is for. I'm thrilled to be a part of it. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about what is at work here. Anything new in this stuff? Nah. Can you shut these after you've opened them? Oh yeah, look. Hold. Wow, you can if you hold R. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. Look at that. The future is here. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, it's Lynn. Okay. Another emergency power cell. Oh, easy there with the stepladder, Andresia. Let's see. Let's open this thing. I'm, I'm curious about what level that um, doohickey was. I have to open with the switch. The, um, what do you call it? The door. The caged area. Oh, fuck. I just entered here and got lung damage badly. Jesus Christ. Okay. Soap dispenser? Nah, no, that ain't it.
Here it is. Master. Oh, shit. How many more do we have to pick to get uh, the next skill up in security? Five more. Oh, shit. Feels so close, but it's so far, you know? Maybe we'll find some more inside this other place. All right. Let's head over and out. There we go. Good. What do you think of this place, Andresia? This, this is where I used to work. Go ahead. I used to dig for rocks here, and then I found the weirdest rock of all time that made me, like... <laughs> I don't know, it made me fucked up. <laughs> Alright, is this gonna shock me again? It works now? I guess they repaired it. Somehow. Okay. I thought I would have to repair it. Fair enough. What all have we got in here? Some component? Alright. A Newton Cradle? Another component? Anything on this computer? Oh, look! A fun-loving dog in space, mining a moon. Oh, I like that. Okay. Anything hidden back behind this? Ugh. Prognosis improved. Didn't sound like it improved. Storage box with some cola. Let's pop these lockers. See what we got. Component. Antibiotic. Useful. A toy spaceship. Huh. Wow, the value is complete ass. Despite the fact that it looks like it's made out of wood, you would think that would be really valuable. Similar to, like, the soil. Okay. Bourbon, reactive gauge. <coughs> yeah, you know what? If we ever in real life encountered like spacefaring civilizations and stuff. Oh, Heller's Cutter. Oh, it's quite good. Disassembler on it. Okay. Yunk. But I wonder if uh, in the future, you know, uh, there's probably been science fiction written about it as well. But like a. Something that maybe a lot of spacefaring folks would be into would be, I mean, very literally, our wood, you know? It'd be pretty cool, I feel. Our wood it seems seems like a good thing, seems like a cool thing. Brown leather jumpsuit. Man, it looks nice. I'm a big fan of wearing the color brown. It's my favorite color to wear. All right. See, if only my, my current outfit came in this color. Maybe it does, though. And I only need find it. Another emergency power cell. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Yeah, it's because of all Literally. these power cells. You don't understand, Andresia. I need power. Okay. Let's look in this center area. Mug, the gravity paradigm. Oh, look! A plushy Galacticat. Makes a little noise, too. My god, the music is going buck wild. Okay. Holy shit, there are so many emergency power cells. I don't think I need to be taking these. Vectera control room key. Damn, our shit is really beeping up a storm. Some snack crackers. Zero wire. Here, Andresia, do you want to hold on to all these fucking items I got? <coughs> shit. There 
we Did go. Did you need something? Yeah, let's trade. If there's anything you need, I am happy to share. Okay. How about you take... Yeah, look, I've got five of them. Good God. Take all of them but one. I'm keeping that cool cat. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Data slate and key card display. Can you actually put data slates in there? Is that like a... an item for your... what do you call it, place? Oh, look. Expert lock. For your outposts. Well, that seems too easy. Let's see how the rest of it fares. Okay. Good. And then the absolute middle. Great. Wow, okay. It's just an easier one. Fair enough. Oh, wait a minute. Well, we can still solve it with the little baby ones, right? Those are freebies. Okay. Good. Money. Space Adept. 30% damage while in space. 15% less while on a planet. Okay. I like the idea of that. I'm more into that than ones that do specific damage versus different targets. You know, because there's a situation where you may fight different... Like a slew of different targets at once. Whereas... You're very likely not going to be in the middle of one combat encounter traveling between, uh, I don't know, planet side versus star side. Okay. Anything else out here? Oh, over here. Full food spiced worms. Wow, oh, look at all this shit. <laughs> Container of cereal. Lotus tea. A port. Okay, we'll open this door. See what's around here. Geppetto. Geppetto. Two dates for Darla. Four. I've seen that one. Okay. Good. Anything else? No. Scissors. Space undersuit. Okay. How about in here? Zero wire. Thank you. My god, I'm encumbered already. Holy hell. Steel bottle. Oh! Tracker's primer. Permanently increases EM damage, weapon damage, by 5%. Ah. Good. Fish worker mask. Okay. Black engineering outfit. No, I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Got some playing cards, wrench, a weapon. Another black engineering outfit. Football. Razor Derby. The all-star event of the century. 8 to 29 Yeah, it's like roller derby. Beast. Heartbreaker. Violet. Heel paste. Space ender suit. A folder. Mug. Planter. Man, this place goes around forever. A UC Navy hat? That's like the beret, isn't it? It looks like it. I'll take it just in case. 
med pack, very useful. Oh look, got some a weird gravitational anomaly. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Maybe all of those are just artifacts. You never know. Whenever we see something like that vibrating, it's not the the game channeling oblivion. No. It's just fucking Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Anything else around here? Gray engineering outfit. Thing up top. Nah. Let's pop all the lockers. See what we got. <laughs> An explosive. Good god. Space undersuit. <coughs> Another space undersuit. Okay, Andresia. You have my attention. I am always willing. Yeah, here. Take some of my weird shit. Store all. Thank you. All right then. All right. Let's head over here. Good. Quick saving in case there's like a weird freaky creature. Oh, one of these. Oh shit. The power receptacles. Oh my god, we actually do need them. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, Andresia's got a few, but should we just, like, gather- there were, We saw at least two in here? At least. Not more. Did I suck them all up? Did I take all of them? Could have sworn I left a bunch. But maybe I, maybe I legit took them all. Part plus? Yeah, here's one. Okay. Sure. I'm loving this music. It sounds so Star Wars, you know? Okay. There we go. It sounds so fucking John Williamsy. Alright. Andresia, I'm gonna need one of those power units. Is something amiss? I am happy to help. Okay, thank you. I will take one. There we go. And we should have three now. Oops. Right. There we go. Use the key. Some folders strewn about, reactive gauge, common component. Okay. Adaptive frame. Sounds very gloopy in here. Oh, Andresia is just like so excited, she's like running in space. She's like charging up her run. She was, no, she was, she double jumped as Yoshi. That's what she did. You know what I'm talking about when Yoshi double jumps midair? <laughs> that was Andresia just then. Okay, anything else over here? Now let's check out the terminal. Sensor array. Emergency transmission. I can't believe we got into this mess. Oh. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. <laughs> we're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Dude, Heller in a bind is so, um... What's his name from fucking Alien? Game over, man! Game over! <laughs> right? Alright. Incoming ship logs. 
Event zero, constellation ship incoming. Alert, unidentified ship pirates incoming. Alert, unidentified ship pirates incoming. Event three, constellation ship incoming. It never says when people, yeah, it's only departing. Okay. Or there's no departing, I should say. Okay, well, we have a hint. go. You know, I'm surprised that we don't ever have to perform repairs on our spacesuit and all of that. Somehow, in the future, we have created highly durable spacesuits that don't get fucked up from taking gunshots. Like, it'd be one thing if it was just laser shots and all of that, but literally, we're being shot with ballistics at times. Alright. Supervisor Lin. I mean, even the lasers could burn a hole, you know? So, you actually get that computer working again? I found a transmission from Barrett. Still checking things out. I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. <coughs> even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand, okay. Let me send you the location data embedded I in the transmission. I fucking knew it. She's got a thing for Find Helen. them, okay? Thanks, Lynn. I knew it. You care about him. You're a softie. Why don't you come with me? Why don't you come with me? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after <laughs> all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Alright. Yeah, I knew it. You care about him. You're a softy. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, alright. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. <laughs> Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Awesome. Recruit Lin as crew. Yeah, how do I do that? Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. You're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Skilled at demolitions and outpost management. Oh. I'll let you know if I need you someday. What kind of things can you do for me? You'd be okay working for me? You're really ready to leave Argos? What kind of things can you do for me? If you give me an outpost to run, I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. I'm a good hand with explosives. And you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. She is really good at outpost management. Three pips. Okay, you'd be working- you'd be okay working for me? Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> mm. Well, you're really ready to leave Argos? After this mess? Certainly. It's just a job. <laughs> Nothing to get sentimental about. Okay, yeah, you should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Alright. Crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. No assignments are currently available for Supervisor Lin. Okay. Sure. Lin. Okay. Right, Vasco is assigned. I see. Huh. I mean, we should probably have... Yeah, I don't know. We should just have an outpost, shouldn't we? We should get a fucking outpost up and running. That way we can have people out there getting shit done. Right? We should do that. Okay. 
Well. Assign? Yeah, I can't assign you anywhere. Right? Because, yeah, I can't... I don't have... Uh, the Frontier only supports two people. All right. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. All right. Sure. Well, we did hire you. Wherever it is you'll go. I guess we'll be able to find you from that UI. Right? How do we do that? Star map, ship, mission, status. Ship, maybe? Crew. Ah, okay. Yeah, and there's Lynn. Okay, gotcha. Good to know. Okay. Is there anything else we should check out while we're here? There is a weird is cave. Scanner review? Another cave. Alright. Just a couple of caves. Should we go take a look at it? I mean, it's not too far. We could. Hmm. Or we could come back once we have upgraded scanners. Yeah, that might be a better decision once we have scanners upgraded higher. Okay. Hey, Vasco. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. Absolutely. Okay, let's see here. I guess we can just set a course, right? Yeah. Oh, they're quite nearby. Right? Narian Victet. Okay. Huh. Missions. Show on map. Yeah. Okay, and we're on Valo. So it's it's in the same system then. Right? But where? There's Vectera. Is it in the same system? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Show resources. One of a kind salvage? Huh. Alright, well. Let us set course. And fuck it, I'm just going to jump. Let's just see what the hell happens. Valo. Okay. Yeah. It's barren. Gravity is slightly higher than Earth. Ever so slightly. Bunch of space junk out here. Okay. Let's bring up our quest log here. Show on map. Crashed ship. Okay. Scan? Yep, barren, weak magnetosphere. Bunch of helium-3. Aluminum, beryllium, neodymium. Let's go to the crashed ship. Life is usually found on planets and moons warm enough to have liquid water. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if there's anywhere that's not the case. It says usually. Is there like an exception or two? Maybe Ice Planet? Okay. Exit ship. Or let's get up. We'll do a quick rest. We'll take a one hour nap. We're really big on power naps. Oh look! You yes, just hang out with us. Eminence. I can't believe Barrett snuck a transmission to us. He always finds a way. Barrett can finds a way. 
I can't believe you had an extra bit of dialogue. I wonder if you hibernate. You need your own comic book. Your own cut. Okay, Adoring Fan is starting to loop a bit now. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. Okay. Good wow. day, Captain. Oh shit. It's very cold. Holy shit, yeah, it's negative 139 whatever measurement we're using. It's cold as shit out here, oh my god. Alright, fucking run, Andresia, I'm freezing my ass off. Can I scan that? The crashed ship? There's something over there. Hillside cave. Okay. Can I scan this fart? Scan these though. <coughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's just my regular cough. There we are. Just get a little mining. Are there gonna be pirates galore here or what? There's some helium. Oh, it's a helium, like, vat, or whatever. A helium anus. Oh, I fully surveyed the moon. This moon. Oh, look. Look at all this computer shit. Oh, wait. It's metal. It's like ripped up metal. Damn, y'all can survive this? I'm assuming they're not dead, right? Hey, look. Get you a med pack, whoever this is. Heller. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Hold still, let me patch you up. I'm a hallucination, Heller. Your last thoughts are apparently of me. I need to know what happened, Heller. Hold up, let me patch you up. Nah. Nah, I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds <laughs> running through me. It would seem prudent to accept any and all help offered to you right now. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. That doesn't explain the crashed ship. Trust me is my go-to line when someone shouldn't trust me. So he had a plan then? He had a plan? Mm, not <laughs> what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. Well, all that doesn't explain the crashed ship. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot someone he shouldn't have. <coughs> and he shot something he shouldn't have. Something. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. <laughs> but Barrett isn't here. I need to find him. Skip to the end, Heller. He really survived the crash without a scratch? He survived? Well, no. I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? 
nothing a little healing paste can't fix. Barrett isn't here, though. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? Dude, his delivery so, is really good. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. What? The Crimson Fleet has him. Again. That was a long way of saying pirates have Barrett. They took him? Why? Let's say that. I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. Oh. Uh, Crimson Fleet has him. Again. I was drifting in and out, but, yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Let's get you on your feet first. Sit tight. I'll come back for you later. Shouldn't we get you back to Argos? Shouldn't we get you back? <laughs> I think Argos is probably going to write this whole thing off. <laughs> Plus, I'm 90% sure working for you would be safer. I hope. <laughs> Alright, let's get you on your feet first. Yeah. Just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Okay. Been eating some chunks out here too, huh? Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Yeah, let's get going. Let's talk later, I don't have the space right now. Do you have any skills that might come in handy on my crew? Are you sure you're in good enough shape to travel? What skills you got? You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. You sure you're in good enough shape to travel? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. The painkillers are starting to work, I'll be just fine after a good nap. Yeah, I feel that. All right, yeah, let's get going. Whew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Okay, well, you're just going to have to hang out in this ship that's getting more and more cramped. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Okay. Anything else good out here? Smoked salmon fillet? Oh, hell yeah. Ugh, but it's in a bag. Okay. Anything else good out here? Just some trash from the... I guess... I don't know. What happens when, like, a... One of the Habs or whatever... Decompresses? Or maybe it doesn't work that way. Science fiction stuff. Any way I can look around this shit more? <clears throat> can I take some of these items off? Enter here, maybe? No. No dice. Alright, let's listen to the transmission. Let's see. You know what? Someone actually wrote- Oh yeah, new items. Perfect. There we go. Emergency transmission too, isn't You've it? given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot. 
Could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. <laughs> okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Okay. Anything else we should investigate down here? There's a structure. Do you see anything useful? That said, the planet's fully surveyed, so I'm kind of down with getting out if we want to. Or the moon is. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Let's see. Show this on the map. Oh, it's in a different system. Okay. Oh. Let's set a course. And we'll jump it. I bet there was a version of this game where you sustained um, spacesuit damage and had to get it fixed up or patched or something. Hello, stranger. And maybe that's what I vacuum tape was for. Food. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Oh! Grandma! <laughs> is this grandma? Yeah. Hey grandma, you've got food for me? Alright, either grandma's actually got real food, or... You know how these go. She's a cannibal. <laughs> I hate talking on this infernal thing too much. Just come on over. Oh, okay, you actually want me to come over. Yeah, she, I'm gonna go over there and she's gonna try and fucking eat me. I'm the food. I'm what's for dinner. Grandma, you better not be a fucking cannibal. Food's still warm, dear heart. Uh, we do have to dock with Grandma. Okay. There we go. We've docked. I'm sure whoever's in that ship will be thrilled to see you. I hope so. It's bored. Okay. We're getting outpost directions. Grandma, you better not be here to fucking eat and kill me. Or kill and eat me. There's definitely food here. Is this for me? She didn't really make it herself. It's from Canuck. I mean, maybe she warmed it up. Okay. I do not trust this at all. This seems fucked up. Hmm. There is a lot of food here. Yeah, perfect for mixing with people. Ooh, there's a chicken marsala. Chunks. Okay, let's head on up. Oh, there's a lot of floors to this. go. Are you the grandma? Wow, it looks very homey here. Why do you have so much different food made? Wait, you actually do seem like a grandma. Are you gonna eat me? Well, hello. Was hoping you'd drop by. The worst part of space travel is having to eat alone. I used to eat with my better half every meal until he passed. I've got plenty. I hope you're hungry. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. It's nice to see someone face to face. There's got to be a catch. Some trick or gimmick. What happened to your husband? What happened to your husband? Time. Time's what happened. He led a rich, full life. I used to tell my kids that life is a sexually transmitted disease that's 100% fatal. My God. They hated it when I said that. <laughs> There's got to be a catch. Some trick or gimmick. 
Well, don't go expecting a three-course meal, but besides that... I finally retired last year, and I've been traveling all over. I wish I could have done this when I was younger, but it's still a treat. My grandkids are mortified that I'm out here. Positively livid. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the characters I've encountered. Space is dangerous. Your grandkids have a right to be worried. I find that space tends to attract eccentric personalities. I'm surprised you're not with your grandkids. What's the strangest thing you've encountered? Say that. I invited this one fellow over for a meal. Like yourself? He was a cannibal. So he boards the ship, stark naked. Oh. Ah! Turns out he was one of them old-style nudists. He said, in space, no one ever knew. But Lord knows I noticed. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised you're not with your grandkids. Oh, they're scattered all over. But now, I get to see them all the time. So, what do you think of the settled systems? I can't believe there are so many stars, planets, moons, and whatnot. It makes my head spin just thinking of it. I love it. There's more to see than you can, than you can in a single lifetime. It's big and empty. I prefer real gravity. Meeting new people is my favorite part of space. Give a thousand credits. Do you need anything? Maybe take this donation to help? I don't think she needs anything. But it's interesting that I can even do it. Let's see what happens if I do this. It's so weird to me that this is even an option. Maybe take this? Well, aren't you the most precious thing? I'm doing pretty good. But the expenses do add up. But I won't let you leave empty-handed. Take this. And please do tell what do you think of the settled systems. Synth meat multi. Meeting new people is my favorite part. No argument here. I'm afraid I'm worn out, dear heart. I'm at the tail end of a very long day. But feel free to grab some extra food or whatnot. I've got plenty. Oh my god, you really are just a kindly grandma. Wow. Ooh, Kiffles. A sweet dessert pastry of spiced and sugared walnuts, rolled in dough and covered in powdered sugar. Oh yeah, don't worry about her, grandma. She's... <laughs> She'll grow on you. <laughs> oh, you got a wooden duck too, grandma? Okay. Huh. Wow, a mortar and pestle. Jeez, doesn't even say whether it's a journeyman or not. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> Grandma's gonna kick me off her ship for fucking talking Elder Scrolls out here in space. I'll take a med pack. That's pretty useful to me. I get shot at a lot, Grandma. You wouldn't believe it. Nicholas Nickleby. A chunk's egg. It was a real pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure meeting you too, Grandma. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, there we are. Oh, we can jack Grandma's ride? <laughs> That's wild. Oh. Is this stealing? What's gonna happen if I take this? Seems fine. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> All right. Is, is this some, like, non-diegetic theft that I've partaken in, or is she actually going to be like, Why'd you take all my money? Keep on traveling, dear heart. Okay. The utensil holder. Sweet rolls! Oh, my God. 
eat your supper first. Is this Linda Carter? No. Is she even in this game? I don't even know. A doll Makani. Slow stewed and reduced lentils in a mix of spices and herbs. It's quite good. I'm taking the sweet rolls. Why would I not, you know? Oh, there are books here. Simpler times. Do I have that? I don't think I do. Simpler times. Sorry, Grandma, I'm a, I'm a big reader. Pack of smokes. Great expectations. Yeah, we've got that on our list. Okay. Some drawings, maybe from the grandkids. Alright. Ooh. What the fuck was all that? There was some weird shit there. I love this rug. It really brings the whole room together. Should I take the meatloaf? Nah, it ain't that good. Sorry, Grandma. There's a terrifying picture of a man. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like a, um... What, what do you call that? One of those ID sketches or whatever? When you're trying to find someone who's like a have highly wanted criminal? They're like, sketch someone from your description? <laughs> okay. It's, it's a picture of me. <laughs> Alright. Some cheddar crackers, notebook, plant. I do kind of like that there wasn't really anything else to it. What a what a strange surprise. Right? I thought for sure she would be a cannibal or whatever. I'm gonna take the spaghetti. Alright. Fucking love a good spaghetti. It's gotta be said. A chicken marsala, I'm taking that too. Had a lot of spaghetti growing up as a kid, because, you know, it's it's very cheap. I feel like a lot of folks who grew up quite poor can attest to the gigantic pot of spaghetti that lasts for a week or several days or whatever, you know? <laughs> it's cheap, lasts a while, can reheat it. But despite all those spaghettis I've had, I still enjoy a spaghetti. Nonetheless. Alright. Let's board again. Into the cockpit. Whew. Okay. And then let's undock. Her ship immediately explodes. <laughs> Pirates grav jump in, obliterating her instantly. No. She's just a peace loving fucking grandma. Wow. Let's scan this. Bezel 3. Oh, yeah. My my objective to scan shit. Okay. A ransacked research outpost. Let's hit it. The Trade Authority maintains neutrality with all factions to facilitate trade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see that. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming if we kill them all, they're not going to mind, right? We can still maintain our cover as long as they're all dead and they don't transmit anything. Because I definitely saw some dudes walking around over there. It's very cold. Okay, rescue Barrett. Here comes the rescue mission. Natural, ransacked research. Yep, pirate. Oh, fuck! Okay. Let's eat some of that damage resistance food that we got from Grams. Let's see. Or we could eat some egg scramble that we've got. Hmm.
Let's see. Let's get the... Well... Huh. There we are, yeah. Let's eat this. Good shit. Okay. Cool. Oh gosh, landmine. I'm taking you down. Okay, let's also try out our new fucking power. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Whew. That was close. <laughs> Alright. Let us eat. How about. Sandwich. Drink. How about this. Okay, what else we got? We'll eat that chicken, the chunks. All chunks go within my bod. Alright. Granola. Hmm. This kefir. Meal pack of chicken. Meatloaf. How about all this? Salmon filet, yep. The spaghetti. Okay. I'm keeping the sweet rolls. I cannot get rid of the sweet rolls, right? Obviously, I have to keep it. I love that as well. It's not a very pristine looking sweet roll, right? Like the, the icing has melted off and it's kind of coagulated down at the bottom of the, the Pyrex or whatever. Okay. I guess it being in this kind of container, the foods and stuff, makes it kind of ideal for, like, if you throw it out onto a low grav- like, like a fucked up planet without an atmosphere, you know? <laughs> I guess it kind of works in that way. Let's also drink one of these for some XP bonus. Okay. Heavy fire over here! Got him in one. Good. Not much left in that. I'm going for it. Put some fire on him. Have your head. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. stuff. Waste of time. Where's this asshole at? Uh. Can I use my power just right here? Yeah, eat shit. Oh. Oh. Good stuff. We got more around here? Looks like it, according to the map. Some asshole up top. Good. Oh shit, you got power. Just getting started. No mercy. There we go, get floated. Everywhere. 
Rocket floated! Andresia. Jesus, he scared me. You're not walking out of here. Come on. There we are. You're dead. Oh. oh finally. Some kind of lead-lined, calibrated deep recon spacesuit. There you are. Okay. Jeez, I'm Pete. Who was left down there? He who right can't there. hope to win. Jesus, what kind of a weapon does Andresia have? She's like obliterating shit. A bashing modified drum beat. What is that? Oh, it's some type of a rifle. It uses 11 millimeter. Good God. Okay. A beat is what it's called? All right. How about this other spacesuit that we just picked up? Oh, it's straight up better. Look at that. All the damage resistance on it. And 15% less damage from human enemies. That seems huge. So far, they're like the most common enemy. Okay, good. Let's see, Andresia, where are you at? You want to take some think? of this? What have you got for me? There we go. I'll give you some resources. Good. I'll have to do. Until next time. Okay. Oh, what is that? Laser cart. Okay. More ammo up here? Sure. Good stuff. Man, it's cold. 193 below? I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? Andresia, that, that, that's ammo. It doesn't have weight. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's wild how even just taking components only and stuff, and like rarer items, we're getting fucking encumbered anyway. Is this like, um, our lowest base encumbrance out of any BGS game? It's feeling that way, but I don't know if that's the case. Okay, there's another door we can pop open here. I feel like we ought to check that. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, what the fuck is your baseline weapon? Is there somebody else the around here trying to get me? are all too willing to prey on the weak or defenseless. Perhaps we will show them what it means to put up a fight. A rhubarb storage box? Huh. It lights up a storage box, but I can't open it. Maybe it's assets regularly used in the settlement system. Or the not settlement system, the outpost system. Anything good in there? Nothing. Grapes, I'll take them. Okay, how about up here? Anything in particular? We can go inside of this. Anything good in here? 
Oh, look, it all got grabbed up because of me. Cool. Yeah, see this vacuum tape? I bet it would have... In another version of this game, I bet your, your equipment could get dinged up. Drilling rig. Rare manufactured. My god. Okay. I didn't even look at the weight, but man, it looked heavy. <laughs> oh, it's spooky down here. Okay. But yeah, I bet the vacuum tape was similar to the med packs for repairing the health of your suit. I would 100% believe that. Oh, grilled cheese? Okay. Antique videotape? What? They still work? Look at their value, too. Yeah, they are antiques. Outpost 11. The horror at Outpost 11. Ugh, look, it's like the thing. A cinematic experience colder than death. Yeah, what chilling things would you do to survive? Oh my god. Return of the Interceptor. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure how I would classify my, my personal, like, repertoire of uh, sci-fi knowledge, right? I would say I'm, I'm like... Maybe adept? <laughs> I don't know, right? Maybe that's maybe that's the correct way to, to put it. Let's pick into here. Like, I'm not super well-versed in it, but I do enjoy it, you know? Okay. There we go. That looks like a winner. And then, let's try one of these. Great. And over here. Perfect. Got some money. More picks. History of Xenobiology. Is that on our read list? It is. Okay, I'll leave it. Did not like that beep noise. It sounded like an explosive about ready to pop off. Oh, this is an item. Tau grade rheostat. Or stat. Antimicrobial. What else we got in here? Notebooks. Another Galacticat. Alright. Bunch of books. Semi-metal wafer. Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. I do kind of like how they get mad at you for taking too much stuff. <laughs> Crimson Fleet orders. We scouted the perfect spot on Bessel 3, a little outpost where a bunch of bookworms spend their time doing who knows what. Oh, I like how they use the wrong there. Best part is, it's completely unguarded. Take care of anyone there, and we got ourselves a secluded spot to do whatever we need without anyone finding out. Easy job. Don't screw this up. <coughs> okay. There's a fun little golden pyramid sculpture. It's heavy as shit. Yeah, the 12.5 millimeter something rivet. I'm looking forward to the idea of there being a rivet gun. Oh my gosh. Jesus. This mess is crazy. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is. Oh, here we go. Another one. This mess is crazy. Listen, I realize we're kind of known for being badasses and all that, but seriously, clean up after yourselves. Regarding it. <laughs> no. <gasps> okay. Yeah, Jesus. What the fuck? Can we get some tampons out here or what? Jesus. It's looking like the thing in here for real. All right. 
What a creepy bunch of lighting in this area. Molecular sieve or something. Reactive gauge. Look at this creepy red lighting. Is all this shit turned over from me doing grav shit outside? I feel like that's the case. I'm not sure what part of it is them being messy and what part of it is me using grav power. Ooh, a midnight delight and a toast. Okay. Oh, look, there's something in there. How can I get that? Oh my god! Holy shit! I can actually get it. You have to peek through the side. It's a bolognese. Alright, well. Ooh, carrot and potato cooking here. Coffee bags used for crafting. I still can't make any coffee. Too fucking stupid to do it, I guess. You, <laughs> you gotta invest a skill point to know how to make coffee. Got some steak, more potatoes. There we go. Chunks, beef. Anything else good here? An onion. Food trays all over the fucking place. Some bread. Lentils, meal pack. We can eat these right on the spot, I think. Oh, a watermelon. Okay. There we are. Yeah, so far we haven't heard too much about what it takes to, like, feed everybody. You know? Like, where all the space food comes from. Deck of cards, pack of smokes, I'll take it. Pop these open. Synapse Alpha. Neon Dancer Outfit. Holy shit, a lotus smoke's in here. Oh, some of them literally are called Pack of Smokes and Pack of Cigarettes. Okay. Digipix. Hookah Canister. Some potato. Okay. Look at you, you got your stealth shit going on, huh? Did I give you, like, a weird armor that does that, or, or can she just do that on her own? Look at all this shit in here. Holy fuck! Oh my god! That's the most amazing thing of all! Alright. How did it not crash my game? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, that's incredible. I can't believe that this is just fucking Creation Engine 2.0. Right? They just like worked on the same fucking engine that we played Skyrim with. Now right? would be a good time to reprioritize what we bring with us and what we leave It's behind. incredible what they were or able so. to achieve with this shit. Or I throw think. away, even. Damn, Andresia. Okay, how about over here? Anything good over here? No, not really. Alright, where was that door we still need to pop open? We need to hack it open. Right, we had to fuck around with that. Oh look, a storage crate. Some zero wire. That's useful. Okay, wasn't it like over here? Ooh, I'm running out of O2. If you see anything valuable, take it. It is likely already stolen. Okay, here, I remember. Right over this way. Make sure we're reloaded. Yep. Can we chow down some food real quick? I wouldn't be opposed to that. Let's see, where's all of our chunks? Yeah, there we go. That's the nice thing about the different brands. It's like, you can just find like, yeah, chunks. I'll eat all chunks. Whereas stuff like instant oatmeal, it's kind of a pain to eat.
Okay. Good. Don't you need bread for some of the crafting? Or like synth meat? I guess that counts as meats too, doesn't it? God, that's a nice looking watermelon. All right, let's get into here. Jesus, okay, um, about, I don't know, that ain't gonna do much. Like that. Are there any that are, like, too close together? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then this inner section. Good. And then we need... Something like that. But there is no singular dude. But we could do this, right? Yeah, between these two down here, it unlocks the inner ring. Okay. And then to do the outer one, we need only have these. Great. Nailed it. Hey, level 12. Fuck yes, baby. You're great! What does that say? Something wolf? Gray wolf? Don't eat <coughs> chunks! I love chunks. Okay, well, let's peek through all this shit that they've got holed up in here. Hazmat. Is this safe locked? It is. Oh, fuck. This one's a really tough one, too. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Let's see. How about... Is there one that I can use? No. This one's completely worthless. This, however, works. As does this. Okay. And then the second ring. Okay. Hmm. Good. And then, well, it would have to be one that's parallel. We do have two or three... No, yeah, two little dudes. They're just standard. How about this? Could rotate around that. And then we just need one dude. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We only need one little individual unit. Okay, and then how do we solve the center? Hmm. Okay. Which one of these is not solving something? Fuck me, it's getting hard to keep track of. Okay. Okay, so these two on the right solve the outer ring, right? And then the middle one is solved by these two on the bottom left. And then the outer ring, or the inner ring, is solved by... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, we got it. Yeah. Inner ring is solved by these two. Right here. The two vertically... ...parallel ones. Okay. So, plug in these. 
good. And then that. Okay. Oh, holy shit. Rapid Scout Sidestar. Does more damage the less armor one has. 25% increase in attack speed. Okay. Whoa, and it's modified too with armor piercing rounds. Okay, that's great then. Yeah, that's something we want for sure. Yeah, I'll take that. It's suppressed as well, I think it said. Let's see over here. Hippolyta, Heart Plus, Cred Stick. Let's see. Oh, let's change that around. Weapon. I should like... It's 12 damage, this is 15. Yeah, I think this is just straight up better. It uses a different caliber. Rate of fire is 50 versus... Oh, there's similar rates of fire. I'm assuming the 50 accounts for the 25% increase in attack speed, right? Okay, so let's put this right there. Good. Okay, cool. Feel good about it. Oh, it sounds nice. Oh, we could have rested in here. Carry of the Cosmos. Do I need that? Hey, look at your outfit. You got all kinds of shit on you. Are those your stats? Your skills? Look at that. I think they are. You got them patched on there. Okay. Wait, do I have mine patched onto my outfit? No way. Nah, I don't think I do. Unless they're patched on somewhere else. Are they patched onto me in a different section? I don't think so. Maybe on my belt? That's incredibly cool though that hers is patched onto her shoulder there. Cause those are, yeah, those are the skill icons, right? Okay. Carry of the Cosmos. <coughs> Carry of the Cosmos. Oh my god, my lung damage worsened. You might wish to lighten your load. Hmm? One is less likely to survive an ambush when one is weighed down with whatever all that is. This is important crafting stuff. Okay. Over here. A peach. Good. Have we gone through everything then? No, we still have to look through this. Zero wire. Brown Neo City formware. Nah, formware we know is ass. Okay. Antimicrobial. Cred stick. Outpost key. Med pack. Mono propellant. Okay. About here in the centerpiece. Oliver Twist, History of the Pirates. Ooh, okay. History of the <coughs> Pirates. Good. Okay, anything else here? I don't think so. Oh my god, listen to us. Prognosis poor, cough, sporadic O2 damage, difficulty breathing, O2 recovery rate is fucked. Okay, you know what, here, let's... Let's ingest something. Let's see. There we are. An injector. Well, maybe I don't want a boosted one, I just want a standard injector. 
There we are. Good God. It's a little disconcerting to hear. Okay. Anything else? Down here in the center? Don't think so. Alright, let's go get Barrett. Did we have enough to pick up... Now we still need to pick one single more lock. Fuck. Alright. Crimson Fleet Outpost. Oh shit, it's an interior area. Are there gonna be dudes in here? Okay. Yeah, I feel like there will be. Look at this, it's big. Oh yeah. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? That's Sura. No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Let me think. Unicorn. Not kidding. Wait. The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. <laughs> was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme of file in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands. You need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound, your brain is just gonna pop like a soda can. Should I shoot them or just go in here? <laughs> there might be a situation where we can just talk to him. Holy hey. shit. You actually found me. I do not understand. Is Barrett being held hostage or not? Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. I'm here to take you home, Barrett. Yes, I don't know why, but yes. Are you friends with the pirate? Let's say that. Matsuo the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistef myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. I'm here to take you home, Barrett. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. Mm. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Persuade. Hasn't Barrett been enough trouble? Just let him go. Pay 4,000 credits. We'll pay. Here. Attack. You're a pirate. This only ends one way. I'll be back later. Hasn't Barrett been through enough trouble? Just let him go. You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? You clearly get along with Barrett. You're friends. No one has to get hurt here. Look, Barrett is already more trouble than he's worth. A lot of pirates are already dead. A lot of pirates are already dead. He does Holy seem shit, to worked. be unusually skilled in that area. You clearly get along with Barrett. You're friends. He has been more entertaining than most hostages. Barrett has some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matt, sir. Really. And good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. <laughs> yes? Cool. Alright. I mean, should I let him live, though? <laughs> you know? Like, is he gonna tell him that I'm not a pirate or whatever? Is this gonna... I mean, what if he does, though? That'd be some cool reactivity, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I do not Remind wish to judge, that? but I doubt you truly need to be carrying all of that. All right, Barrett. So, back to the lodge. Who was that pirate anyway? Matsuo the Grim. Honestly, I'm 
pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. Think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. You were just laughing it up the whole time? I'm in Constellation now. Did you know I'd end up joining? Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? You were just laughing it up the whole time? Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. I'm in Constellation now. Did you know I'd end up joining? Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Alright, we'll ask him personal questions later. See you later. I'd be shocked if he wasn't a proper follower. Med pack. Mag pressure tank. Y'all don't happen to have anything Got in here I can just you. hack into, right? Matsura's in charge. Ooh. Rhapsody on Windy Night. I don't think we've got that one on our list. Let's see. Oh, long shift. Rhapsody. I swear, my You're lucky the boss is so generous. Windy. Got nothing to say to you. Night. Good. Okay, what else? Storage box. Is in charge. He's Pizza free to go. Supreme. I do not encourage you to return. You are right. lucky. My boss is so generous. Anything else here? Milk. Notepad. Money. Definitely taking that. Trauma pack. Chunks Employee Handbook. I think we read that one. Okay. Yeah, my thinking is that my character being a former professor would attempt to disarm as many conversations as possible for the time being. A weapon case? Take the ammo. Metabolic Agents. More ammo. Helmet display. Technicians calibrated space truck or space helmet. Eh, Garbo. Got some ammo, though. A lot of ammo here. Oh. Crix's journal, entry one. Store prices are permanently reduced by 2%, and you permanently sell items for 2% more, on top of any other bonuses. Cool. Okay. Alien broth. It's in here, bathroom. A mercury camera. Holy shit, look at that. Okay. I'm almost tempted to just take the mercury camera. I almost did. <laughs> I'd never hear the end of it from Andresia. Oh, look, there's more stuff over here. Manufactured item. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Instigating. Yes. Deals double damage to targets with full health. Yeah, those are pretty good. Though, this is probably a bad weapon for that. Considering it only has 19 base damage. It's great for, like, snipers or shotguns and stuff like that. I'll take it, though. We can sell it. More ammo. Membrane. An Austin Nitic Manifold. Only ten more payments and boss says I'm on the hook. More books. Tale of Two Cities. A Christmas Carol. Oh, fuck. All right. A Tale of Two Cities. Christmas Carol. Yeah, I mean, if we were getting uh, Charles Dickens, definitely. Okay. Why would you not have those? Alright, fair enough. Is that everything we need here? And everything we want? I think. 
Alrighty, let's head on out over here. Let's see. There we go. Pop this open. Got some hellish planetary solar ray radiation going on. It's fine. We can fast travel while we're over encumbered, can't we? I have encountered the Crimson Fleet more times than I care to remember. They have not gotten the best of me yet. Let's see here. Return back to the lodge. Okay. I'm carrying too much and cannot fast travel. Fucking A. Okay. <laughs> How far off is the ship? Oh, it's incredibly close. It's no trouble at all. go. Oh, I incurred some lung damage. It's fine. I wonder if we're getting the lung damage because we're over encumbered. No, it's probably the radiation. <laughs> probably the planetary radiation. All right. There we go. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is this now let's see. Set course. Perfect. Oh, what a fucking journey, huh? The lead family of inorganic resources includes tungsten, silver, titanium, mercury, and dispersorium. Okay. Good. Now, let's head over here. Find comfort in the idea that the odds of something killing us here are at an all-time low. Oh, enter the library. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Katri. Wait, is that... <laughs> And to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Yeah, now there's something about all. that. There is something about that. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just <coughs> comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Traveling together sounds good to me. I think it's better if we go our own ways. If you're coming with me, who's in charge of the frontier? Who's in charge of the frontier? It doesn't really matter to me. We never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time, one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. <laughs> Plus the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Huh. All right, well, traveling together sounds good to me. Marvelous. Good. He's available now. Oh, he's my active companion. Oh, shit. Oh, Andresia, I need my ship back. Let's trade. Did you need me to carry something for you? Okay... Actually, you can hold on to those. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'll take all these. There we are. I mean, maybe I'll, I should take these. Nah, you can hold on to them, Andresia. It's fine. So, yes. Goodbye. All right. Bear it. Yes? Uh, let's trade gear real quick. Let me carry that. A good team works together, right? Let's see. What is your max encumbrance? 135? Okay. Good to know. How much can you take from me? <laughs> not, not enough. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Okay. Good stuff. Right. So that marks out that quest then, right? 
power from beyond. Oh, my scanner is picking up some distortions. I should keep my scanner up and follow the distortions to their source. Oh, at Bessel 3? Okay. Isn't that where we got him? Yeah, Bessel 3. So it is on... It's on the planet where we got Barrett then. Huh. Sure. We should do that then. We can do it with Barrett as well. Okay. And we got our skill up. Hmm. What else should we pick? I'm feeling more scanning once we get that up. You know? Let's see. Huh. Engine systems, top speed is increased. Ship cargo hold, hold increased as well. That seems nice. We should, like, modify our shit too, shouldn't we? We really ought to do that. Oh, look, can I actually get a... Yeah, I can unlock this now. Yeah, I want particle beams, actually. I do want that. I think beam weapons sound really cool. As someone who has referred to Star Trek multiple times already in this playthrough, beam weapons sound really cool. Okay. I haven't even found one, but I know when I find one, I'm going to use it. <laughs> there, Ed. Anything else I should look at here? Demolitions? Meh. Yeah, I want to keep one skill point on hand for when we get that last security. Okay, good. Ever since well, I got here, this has felt like home. If you'd like These to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. We'll read a few books this time, right? Um, in Starfield, it seems like every time we read, we may as well read a few because they're quite short relative to Elder Scrolls and whatnot, where they're uh, usually a bit more lengthy, but sometimes not. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> also, I think, you know what? I'm going to try something else in between videos here. Uh, usually in between videos, I will do clerical work. I'll like, um, vendor a whole bunch of junk or, um, as I was planning for Fallout 4, if we had gotten to it, I would have done settlement building. But now it's occurred to me, maybe we just record that too and we put it in an unlisted video. Like, whatever part video this is, it'll be 0.5, you know? So if you want to watch me go to the shipyard and try to upgrade the ship, um, because we have, how much money do we have? Where do I see that? Yeah, we have a shitload of money right now. So I'm going to go and try to upgrade the ship some in some way, right? I'll fuck around with that a whole lot and fiddle around with it and see what the hell I can do. Sort of, um, in between here. So if you want to see that, there will be an unlisted video, uh, in the description, right? if you want that. Otherwise, the reg the whole playlist as a whole will just continue on past so it, just like with the character creation. Feeling, oh. The same as I was a few moments before you asked. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm worried about you. That time you spent as a prisoner with those pirates, it couldn't have been easy. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as the <laughs> picture. Don't get me wrong, they weren't exactly having me over for dinner. But I wasn't being tortured either. Okay. I'll trust that you're telling me the truth. But if you ever need to talk, I'm always available. I appreciate that. And who knows, maybe I'll take you up on that one day. All right. So reading. Let's see here. Notes. How about... Let me flip pages here. How about we read The Gravity Paradigm to start off with? Let's see, if you'll excuse me as well, I'm going to take a quick drink here before we begin. Alright, sorry about that. The Gravity Paradigm. Oh, it's a very short one too. Yeah, we'll definitely read multiples. Truth is, what our scientists didn't know back then could fill volumes. The focus, of course, was on wormholes, not only creating, but maintaining a stable and sustainable Einstein-Rosen bridge. That was the goal. 
the endpoint. No one had even considered that maybe that was just the beginning. When we look at grav drive technology today, and the ease at which we fold space and travel light years in seconds, it's sometimes easy to forget the impossibility of what we've achieved. Dr. Josephine Inadu's seminal work continues for another 535 pages and has become the most highly respected text on grav drives and grav jumping ever written. Ah, so a little bit of touch on uh, exactly how the faster than light travel works. Okay. How about what else we picked up next? Let's see. Red Rover come over. Check that one off. An excerpt from Lubov's song novel, Red Rover Come Over, an alternate history where autonomous robotic rovers gained sentience, replicated, and colonized Mars before humans could form colonies. Larissa smiled. The machine continued to blink its lights and emit faint whines as its servos whirled, unsure of how to proceed. But machine communication was Larissa's specialty. She flicked the buttons on her universal comm unit. Its LEDs blinked rapidly in response to her movements. It's okay, she signaled through the device. I won't hurt you. But if we've any hope of getting out of this cave, we'll need to work together. Larissa hadn't expected her day to go like this, trapped in a disused mining tunnel under the surface of Mars with a frightened and potentially hostile maintenance robot, but her espionage training had prepared her for similar situations. The machine clicked and beeped in response. I trust you. It wasn't a direct translation. A precise, as precise as machinery binary language was, there was still a lot of room for misinterpretation when translated to her native tongue. It was close enough. The robot seemed to relax. Its, its glowing aperture expanded to let more light in as it gazed at her taking in any information it could glean from her. And then, it extended one of its many clamps in her direction. She took hold, and with a firm yet gentle tug, pulled the small robot out from under the rubble. There we go. That's better, isn't it? She asked, clicking out her message on her comm unit. Now if you can lead me out of this tunnel and back to my dropship, I can call for backup. That could help your fellow machines fight back against your oppressors. The robot seemed to nod in understanding, and began to wheel its way down the rocky corridor, stopping every so often to let Larissa catch up. Oh. Alright. Now. I've never heard of that one, but it sounds like a story that you've heard so many times in science fiction, doesn't it? I guess such is the way of, um, if that's like a, a seminal classic, so to speak, for science fiction books. Like I said, I'm not super versed, uh, but it, it stands to reason that a lot of stuff that would come after these establishing books that establish the entire genre as a whole, like very early works, um, they would be foundational for newer stuff that is more uh, iterative, you know? History of Xenobiology. Let me check that one off. The first several chapters of Lars Nilsson's work seem to focus primarily on the digestive systems of alien herbivores. That said, maybe that book was... No, that, that's, that read like a real book, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> the dissection of Dr. Lord's latest find revealed a creature that was, just as she suspected, based on its outward appearance, an evolution of the microscopic hydrothermal worm. But her research also... Oh, is this... is it a heat leech or whatever? But her research also suggested a species that evolved in distinct stages, possibly growing significantly as it did. So the question now remains, remains which version of the creature did Lord dissect, and what maximum size could it possibly achieve? The subsequent passages deal with Nilsson's fascination with the predatory wildlife of some unnamed world. Microscopic hydrothermal worm. It sounds like a heat leech, but maybe not. Yeah, it may not necessarily be. I'm very curious about them. That seems like such a wild concept, 
especially the fact that they can survive in the coldness of space and regularly like cling to ships. That's really, really wild. Okay, how about the Pickwick Papers? Here we are. Now this is real shit. Gotta be. The Posthumous Papers of the Pickwick Club, Chapter 1. The Pickwickians. <laughs> okay. The first ray of light which illumines, illumines the gloom and converts into a dazzling brilliancy that obscurity in which the earlier history of the public career of the immortal Pickwick would appear to be involved is derived from the perusal of the following entry in the Transactions of the Pickwick Club, which the editor of these papers feels the highest pleasure in laying before his readers, as a proof of the careful attention, in... indif... how do you even pronounce that? Indefatigable? I know what that says. I know the meaning of this. I can piece it together, but I have no idea how you properly pronounce that. Assiduity. I'm, I'm not even sure if that's right, but I, I'll say it with such a confidence it sounds right. Assiduity. <laughs> and, and nice discrimination with which his search among the multifarious documents confided to him has been conducted. Charles Dickens' first book about a man who establishes a society whose goal is to travel and research human life became a phenomenon that established the author as one of the best of his day. Okay. There we are. That seems like good enough reading for this time. And like I said, if you want to watch the ship modulation or going through all that stuff, it will be in an unlisted video that We've you can find in the description and maybe a pinned this comment. Really is uncharted right? territory, is it? Uh, otherwise, if you just are auto-playing the playlist, it will skip right over it, right? Because it will probably be fairly unnecessary, because you can just see at the end uh, how it looks and all of that. Right? And I probably will be far less verbose during such a video. Uh, but we're just going to have it there just in case folks want it for whatever weird freaking reason. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>